are many traditions at Penn State. But none taste as good as ice cream from the Penn State Berkey Creamery. This is the Penn State Berkey Creamery, cow to cone. Now, before we get from cow to cone, here's a quick bite of our rich agricultural history. The university started in 1855 with the name the Farmers High School of Pennsylvania. Ten years later, Penn State bought their first herd of dairy cows and the State College Creamery was born. We moved into our first standalone building and two years later offered our first dairy short course. We moved to Patterson Building in the early 1900s and sold butter, cheese, and milk across central Pennsylvania. To accommodate Penn State's growing mission in dairy science, we upgraded to the Borland Lab Building and later became the University Creamery. This was our home for 75 years where we served the blue and white community. In 2006, we moved into our current home, the Rodney A. Erickson Food Science Building and in recognition of a generous gift from the Berkey family, changed our name to the Penn State Berkey Creamery. To this day, we are the largest university-run creamery in the country. We've been doing this for a long time, and we take pride in our work. So you might be asking, how is ice cream made at the Penn State Berkey Creamery? Just how do we get from this to this? Most of the milk comes from the Penn State Dairy Production Center, just a mile away from the creamery. Basking in the morning shadow of Beaver Stadium, this herd of more than 200 Holstein cows are milked twice a day. The raw milk is chilled and stored in tanks. A couple times per week, it is taken to the creamery, where it is lab tested for safety and quality. Milk here undergoes two processes, pasteurization at a high temperature to kill off any harmful bacteria and homogenization to assure uniform consistency. Then the milk can be bottled and sent to Penn State locations or be processed into yogurt, cheese, cream cheese, or everyone's favorite, ice cream. Every batch of creamery ice cream starts with raw milk, cream, sugar, powdered milk, and stabilizer which are combined to make a base mix. The mix is then pasteurized, homogenized, and cooled below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time for liquid flavoring to be added. The flavored mix is pumped through the ice cream freezer, where it is aerated, churned, and cooled to 21 degrees. After freezing, any solid ingredients like fruit, nuts, or candy are added using the ingredient feeder. Here, we are making the award-winning butter pecan ice cream. Before the ice cream is pumped into the containers, inclusions can be swirled into the product. You can see that process here in this batch of WPSU Coffee Break. We package our ice cream in a range of sizes, from mini cups and pints to half-gallon containers and three-gallon tubs. After packaging, the partially frozen ice cream travels to the hardening room, which is set at a chilly 35 degrees below zero. Brrr. The ice cream is then moved to the holding freezer, which is slightly warmer at negative 25. Ice cream can be stored here for up to one year. Before the ice cream is ready for the storefront, it is staged in the tempering room, where it becomes soft enough to serve to customers. Now that you've seen a bit of the process, can you guess how long it takes for Penn State's milk to get from the cow in the field to the ice cream in your cone? On average, four days. We make over 70 flavors of ice cream. What's your favorite? At any given time, you can find more than 20 flavors being served, whether at the counter or in the freezer section at our on-campus store. But we go way beyond the store. You can find creamery ice cream and dairy products anytime you visit Penn State's on-campus dining locations, 
convenience stores, and sporting and entertainment venues. Even online, where you can order ice cream, cheese, specialty foods, and great gift items. We ship to the 48 contiguous United States. We are known for our ice cream, but our milk, yogurt, fluid products, and cheeses are also incredibly popular, especially our cheddar cheese. Every year we hand dip hundreds of thousands of ice cream cones and dishes at the Creamery store. We've long been a leader in dairy science, research, and education. This is also where dairy industry professionals attend the Penn State Ice Cream Short Course to learn the process from cow to cone. This is the nation's oldest, best known, and largest educational program dealing with the science and technology of ice cream. People travel here from all over the world. It's true that no visit to Penn State is complete without a stop at the Penn State Berkey Creamery. Whether you're a first time visitor or here to celebrate a milestone, a stop at the creamery is tradition. And tradition never tasted so good. Thanks for visiting the Penn State Berkey Creamery. We hope to see you again soon. And if you ever need a taste of tradition delivered to your door, visit creamery.psu.edu.